Hello everybody, this is Moni with Flowers by the Bunch. I hope you are having a wonderful afternoon. Today, I need to put together an arrangement that is on our website. It's called Sunny Gerbs. Um, it contains, this arrangement has a couple of yellow Gerber daisies, some orange spray roses, some filler flower, pretty greenery. Um, this is a vase I don't even know the name of the vase, but I love its shape. It comes in a box of mixed um, vases and it has three different styles, um, but I really like it. It really works perfect for this little arrangement. I'm gonna start out with a vase filled with fresh water. It also has some fresh flower food to keep the flowers fresh longer. I'm gonna take my floral knife and I am going to add my leather leaf first. So this is an arrangement that we would call a one-sided arrangement arrangement, which means all of the flowers and the greenery face one side. So it's more of a bud vase type arrangement versus an all the way around arrangement. So I have added my leather leaf to my vase. So there's the, the start of the arrangement. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna come in with my Gerbera daisies. So I have two bright colored. Um, these are almost a mustard colored um, Gerbera instead of just a bright yellow. I'm gonna take that stem. So my stem comes with a straw attached to the stem. Um, that's how they deliver these to us. I'm going to take pull those straws off and I'm going to take just a little florist wire, push it into that disc and I'm going to wrap it right around that stem. I'm going to do that with both of the flowers. I don't love the straws because it's a little harder for me to um, manipulate the head of the flower and get it to do what I want it to and I don't love this straw showing in the water. So I'll just pull those off. Now, it is completely okay if you receive these Gerberas and they have left that straw on. It's not hurting a thing. It's completely okay, but I just like to remove it. I'm gonna take my, so I have two different size Gerberas. You can see one is a, 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 a bit smaller than the other. So the smaller Gerbera is going to go up high and the larger Gerbera is gonna go down low. I'm gonna start out with my lower Gerbera I'm going to take my knife, my floral knife, I'm going to cut that stem at an angle, and I am going to tuck that Gerbera daisy right into that vase. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of measure and see where I want the next Gerbera. I just kind of want them stair-stepped, so I'm going to take it, I'm kind of measuring it beside the vase. I'm going to cut it roughly about there. Now, as a side note, always cut less than you think you need to. So I'm gonna cut just a smidge more. Always remember that you can put, you can always cut more off, but you can't add stems to it. Can't add length back to the flower. Now this flower isn't standing up kind of like I want him to. I'm gonna add a few more stems. So he will, um, he will do what I want him to in just a second. I'm gonna take a couple of these red Gerbera daisies. I mean, that's not a Gerbera daisy, it's an Alstroemeria lily. I'm gonna tuck a couple of these stems in. So basically, this arrangement is just a mixed bud face with some Alstroemeria lilies, some orange spray roses, some filler flower, a little bit of hypericum berries. Now the original picture had Safari Sunset in this arrangement. I didn't happen to have any Safari Sunset, so I'm using the Alstroemeria lilies in their place. I'm gonna take these orange Gerbera, I mean orange spray roses and tuck these in. Why I have Gerbera daisies on my mind today but I'm calling everything a Gerbera. So I'm just removing any of this foliage that might fall below that water line. I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna tuck him right up here closer to the top. I'm cutting that stem at an angle. Just tucking that little spray rose in. Next, I'm gonna come in with my Solidago filler flower and I'm going to add a little to the top. And then I'm going to 
add another piece kind of, kind of down, down here to the side. So right in there. And then one more piece down low over here with these orange spray roses. Okay, last um, with the flowers, I'm going to add these hypericum berries. I like the hypericum berries because it just gives us a little bit more texture to the arrangement. So I just tucked that one stem there. Then to finish off this arrangement, we're going to add a little bit of pretty foliage. So I have some spiral baby blue eucalyptus. I'm going to just strip off the bottom stems. Take my floral knife, cut that at an angle, and tuck that in. There's just something about pretty greenery that I like. I just think it adds so much to the arrangement. If you can add just a few stems of pretty foliage. Now the one thing you, about this um, spiral uke or baby blue eucalyptus, it, it is very sticky. It kind of has a, a sap, so it's very sticky. But this is that traditional smell of eucalyptus. So if you um, like the, the smell of eucalyptus, baby blue is your uke. It has that smell and, and it's just really nice. Um, I have had people purchase that baby blue uke and hang it upside down in their um, in their shower to give you that spa effect. Um, and then this last eucalyptus that we're adding is a willow eucalyptus. So it just kind of gives us just a little whimsy to this arrangement. All right, now to finish this arrangement off, we're going to add some ribbon. Okay, to finish this arrangement, we're gonna add just a few loops of ribbon. So the ribbon that's in the picture online, um, we don't have right now. And so I chose this sunny um, lemon ribbon and it's just three small three or four small loops of ribbon so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that ribbon and I've got the tail facing me just like this I'm gonna make a loop I'm gonna do a twist make a loop a twist and a loop so we're gonna do three loops for this bow I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm cutting my streamers And then a piece of wire, I'm going to tie that bow. So just like that. Now, I'm going to take just a wire pick, a wooden wire pick, and I'm gonna wrap that wire right around that stem of that wire pick. And then the wire pick comes with a small little tiny wire that you'll just wrap right around the wire of the ribbon. So there's my little bow. I'm gonna take it and tuck it right here in the very front of this arrangement. Rearrange it just a little bit. And there we have it, sunny sunflowers from our website. Guys, thank you so much for being here with me today. I hope you have a wonderful afternoon. If you have any questions about how we do things here at the flower shop, please don't hesitate to ask those questions down below in the comments. And if you would do us a favor and subscribe to our channel and hit that little bell down below and you'll get notifications for when we have a new video. Guys, thank you so much. Have a wonderful afternoon.